Welcome back to Daily Flash, I'm Raisa Pascal. A recent study shows that people who dress better have more confidence, feel more powerful, and are more focused on details. More importantly, people perceive well-dressed people as leaders and go to them for support at a faster rate than those not as well-dressed. Needless to say, one can never underestimate the value of dressing for success, and our next guest is the queen of helping others to do just that. Joining us now to help us revamp our wardrobe and put our best foot forward is style expert and author of Get It, a beauty style and wellness guide to getting your it together, Janae Luciani Senna. Janae, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Raisa. So happy you could join us. You know, sometimes we tend to think of well-dressed people as only being wealthy celebrities or other public figures in high-profile careers. But what about the stay-at-home mom or, or that pink-collar worker who doesn't see themselves as a powerful person, doesn't have that big budget? Do you think they can also benefit from the tips you're going to share, that they can also dress for success? Absolutely. It's really not about spending a lot of money. It's just about small things that make a big difference in your appearance. And really, ultimately, in the end, it's about feeling good. And I really feel that if you exude that confidence and you feel confident, it will show on the outside. I love that. It's all about feeling good. And you're going to help us feel good with five tips. You have five tips to help our viewers at home dress for success yep. and put their best <laughs> foot forward. I want us to go through them. Let's start with number one. So you think less is more when it comes to jewelry. I, I like jewelry. I'm a fan of that. Tell me about this. So when it comes to a meeting or, you know, um, maybe an interview or a business sort of setting, really less is more. And you don't want anything that's going to be distracting. So I'm really a fan of like maybe just a pair of earrings or something that, um, you know, adds visual interest to the face. Nothing that jingles, jangles or dangles. So as you can see with Morgan, <laughs> um, she has a lot going on, you know, in the before picture. And it's really going to detract from what she's trying to say and who she is and her beautiful face. And so really, you just want to keep it understated. And my rule of thumb is just one key piece that really complements or highlights something that you love about yourself. So for example, if you love your eyes, just have one key piece that brings attention to your eyes and that's, you're good to go. You really don't need anything else. I think that is a great tip. Don't make it too busy, right? All right, let's talk right. about exactly. keeping it clean and pressed. Are you telling me I need to iron everything I need to put on? <laughs> Cause I don't got time for that. <laughs> No, I know who does, right? And um, I have a trick for that as well. So yes, you don't want anything obviously um, that has stains on it or that's super wrinkled. And so you can see on the before picture, obviously we exaggerated it. <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't go out necessarily <laughs> I love it. in this. But um, especially, you know, when it comes to something like you can wear a basic white tee to an interview or a situation like that under a blazer or under a jacket. You just want to make sure that everything looks clean and pressed and that you don't have any stains. Um, I actually found this awesome t-shirt from Pat Pat and it's called their Go Neat t-shirt and it actually repels stains, which is really cool. And it's under $15. Wow. So just something like this underneath a great blazer or a great jacket and you don't really have to worry about it. It pretty much stays wrinkle free. So like you said, you don't have to spend all day ironing. Um, and that's just kind of a great tool that you can have, especially like if you're in a hurry and something comes right. up last minute and you want to look your best. I'm all about that like great jacket or great blazer that stands out on its own. So if you have something like this that you can just toss on, it's just a great tool to have. I love that. Man, we're only two steps in, two tips in, and I'm already learning so much. Let's talk about number three. What does it mean to keep it smooth? Absolutely. Well, foundations make a really great first impression. It's like the first thing that you put on and you want to look smooth underneath what you're wearing. As a bra expert, I get a lot of questions on the topic. So something as simple as that really can make a big difference. You want to have the proper undergarments, a proper fitting bra. Um, it really can help you make, make you stand up straighter, not only look smoother in your clothes, but just look more confident. And there's one piece that I recommend um, just literally for underneath everything. That's a body shaper. And the one that Morgan was wearing in the picture that you saw, this is from Honey Love. 
Um, it goes right up to the bra line. It actually attaches to the bra. It's got strategic compression there and it kind of nice. whittles the middle. And the idea is that it just looks really smooth under everything. And even under pants, you're not going to get panty lines or anything like that. This is the super power brief from Honey Love. Fantastic. Every lady can benefit from these tips. So we have two more. We have a little less than two minutes. How do you dress your size? So I always recommend dress for your current size and not the size that you hope to be or the size that you used to be. A big misconception is that women will wear um, clothes too large thinking it will actually make them look smaller when in reality it does the opposite. So I'm a huge fan of a belt. And you can see just by adding the belt to the jacket, it wow. really sticks yeah. her waistline and gives her sort of that hourglass shape um, and with an easy, it's just an easy thing you can do. Excellent. And then bottom line, let's take us home with bottom line. We have about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're so used to, I'm on Zoom here today, so you have no idea what I'm wearing on the bottom and actually yoga pants and flippers. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, many things have returned to in person and we sort of forgot to, you know, what we're wearing on the bottom. So I always say just make sure you sort of have an appropriate hemline. You don't want a mini skirt or something that's too short. And with shoes, Really just pay attention to make sure that the shoes are polished and they're not scuffed. They don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be brand new. I take mine to the shoe repair guy and it's like $10 and he spiffies them up for me. Nice. Um, you can buy those like little shoe sponges at the store. But people do tend to look at your feet, which is an so interesting thing. So be mindful of the bottom right. line. Fantastic. Yes. Janae, where can we go for more information? Sure, my website is JanaeLuciani.com and um, I have lots of tips and information there as well. Excellent, Janae, thank you. This has been fantastic. Great tips you've shared. We'll be back with more Daily Flash right after this.